Have you ever seen snow? Well, perhaps you have, perhaps you haven't, but I'm sure you've seen frost on a cold, wintry morning. And if you've seen frost or snow, you have looked at ice crystals. You might say frost just looks like white powder. Look closely at the twigs or leaves and you'll find that there are tiny little crystals of ice. They look like jewels. Ice crystals are extremely beautiful and if you could look at an individual snowflake with a microscope it would look something like this. A six-pointed star. Very intricate, very beautiful. In fact, if you looked at a whole bunch of snowflakes you'd find that each one is quite different from all the others. All based on a six-pointed star but all differing slightly from one another. These are models of snowflakes carved from wood in Europe. Well, how can you make your own snowflake? You can do it with a sheet of cardboard. Start by constructing a six-pointed star out of two equilateral triangles. Each angle must be exactly 60 degrees. Sides can be any length, but they must be all the same. Place one of the triangles down and the other one across it. Carefully position it so that it forms a six-pointed star and then glue them together. Next, you cut out a triangle which is exactly the size of one of the points. And in fact, you'll need six of these triangles and you'll glue them across the points like that, so that now each point has small points on the side. One there, one there, and all the way around. And then, you guessed it, you do the same thing again. You cut out 30 triangles this time, the size of those little points, and you place them across all the other points. And then, finally, you go for 150 tiny little equilateral triangles like that and place those across all the other points. Glue them all together and you will have your very own snowflake. In fact, it'll look something like this. Starting off with a six-pointed star, ending up with that finely divided edges, and these are called fractals. That's an interesting term. It means fragments on fragments on fragments, and it's a term that was coined by a computer scientist by the name of Benoit Mandelbrot, who could see these sorts of patterns all sorts of places in nature. Where, you might say? Well, look at clouds, fragments of fragments of fragments. They're not smooth and regular. Look at mountains and also look at the sea next time you're at the beach and watch the way the waves lap onto the shore. Little fragments, fractal edges. Well, you might say, why a computer scientist? Mandelbro found out that he could feed information into the computer and make it draw fractals for him. Here's one of them. An intricate pattern which consists of a basic spiral with spirals on the ends of spirals and smaller spirals still. A very beautiful computer graphic. How can you start making your very own fractals? By starting with two equilateral triangles, making a model snowflake, hanging it in your room, and you're into fractal geometry.